Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Zed, and today we are on episode 45 of our Seleucid campaign in RTR Imperium. So, Rectum, last time we had a huge battle at the Peloponnese, ready to smash the Antigonids, and we did smash them back. There is a very nice Antigonid army over here, though, which I'm slightly scared by. Uh, so, yeah, that's going to be fun. There was also a city over here that was ready to upgrade. Whereabouts was that? I just want to check if I can see it easily. Maybe it's that one that is upgrading already. Ah, now it's Gangra. Perfect. Uh, we're also over here in the east trying to take on a bit of India. And, uh, yeah, try to take a few different settlements over here. We've got some more men on the way coming into the army. And what are we doing down south? Always forget about this area. Like, it's not exactly, you know, amazing. Uh, I mean, we could go for that battle. It just seems a bit pointless. Uh, and then these two battles over here on the Peloponnese. Let's get them done. Get them out of the way. Uh, shouldn't be too many losses. 18. Oof. Poor... God damn Antigonids. Let's make sure we enslave. This army is pretty much unhurt. So let's get straight out of there. And go on to Megalopolis. Let's rebuild those things. What temples do they have? They don't like to build many temples, do they, the AI? Uh, it's kind of good for us, though, because that means, you know, we will have... Bit of a better run when it comes to building our own temples. Let's see if we can get you from um, from that settlement into Megalopolis. Quite a famous settlement, really, in the history of Greece uh, and the Peloponnese. So let's get into Megalopolis. Megalopolis. How are you doing for happiness? You're very, very upset, unfortunately. Oh, well. Well, I guess we'll have to just garrison it with a few troops. For a little while. Only 40% from that. How about you? All the way from Ellis. I mean, the other thing we could do is change this to monthly. That's perfect. Takes a bit of money away. But that's not a problem at all. Right, let's go uh, attack this guy. And let's take out the Achaeans once and for all. We don't want them getting really strong. So I'm just going to go straight for Aegeon. I don't mind if this army comes and attacks us. I think it would actually be better. Not the greatest army I've ever seen. <laughs> Do have some Achaean hoplites, which are good. But apart from that, and some Cretan archers, which are not bad either. So not too bad. Not too bad. How about Mantinea? Oh, that should be an easy victory. Oh, apparently they killed no one. So that's quite nice for us. We probably don't have a garrison for here now. That's a lovely little draw-out battle there, isn't it? Oh, Achaeans have a Sikion over here as well. Interesting, interesting. Very nice. Thank you, Achaeans. How about if we put you down to low? Only 155 with this amount of garrison. Let's just pop out of the city. Only 5%. Ooh, that's a spicy one. Diodotus is only 26 and already 7 command. We knew he would be a great man, didn't we? These are all large cities as well, remember, that we're taking. Very nice indeed. We've got loads of large cities. That's why I had them all on at the start of the old uh, campaign gameplay. Let's get that on daily games. It's only on 60% still. Let's, uh, let's repair some of these things because they will be, of course, causing some consternation. So let's go straight for the Shrine to Hera. And you should allow us to take the city. So we are going to be fighting two, three armies with some royal peltas here. I mean, I think this is worth fighting on the battlefield. I don't want to lose my elephants and my chariots just yet anyway. And also uh, the royal peltas here, they're a very good unit. This guy's by himself. We'll go and absolutely smash him with the cataphracts. This army, we'll probably just leave the uh, the pikemen behind and just use the Agira speeders and the archers. Uh, and maybe the Ellies as well, to be fair. And the rest of these guys, we can probably take them out piecemeal. So let's get on the battlefield. Let's keep pushing in the Peloponnese. That might be another city. 
Three cities in one turn, boys. Very nice indeed. Glorious! Something appalling, yes. We have heard this many times before, Diodotus. I believe you copied your father's speech. Right, we're going to get the uh, phalangites. We will keep them in, like, a column formation, ready to go. And uh, we'll get these guys. I think my mouse is on just one sensitivity too high. Now it's on one sensitivity too low. There we are. That's the perfect one. I don't know what it was before. That's actually, that's actually not perfect. There we are. Okay, maybe I'm just uh, I'm just not used to the sensitivity. We haven't played for a little while. A couple of days. So uh, maybe it's just that. And uh, we'll get these guys in the back. Hopefully, you know, this isn't going to be too much of a worry. Okay, this is the main army. So let's get them over there. And that way. And I finally worked out how to do that, guys. <laughs> Where be the general, though? He is hiding. I'm assuming their main army is going to come over the hill. What's that coming over the hill? It's the Antigonids. Yes. Here they are. Let's just march forward with the Phalangites. They can look after themselves. I don't need no one to look after them. Uh, I am starting to use groups a little bit more for all you guys who prefer a bit of groupage. A bit of the old groupage. Not amazing. I mean, I still prefer to to just select them, really. But I mean, it's not bad either. I do need to start learning a lot more of the uh, console commands and all that sort of thing. Definitely does help out, especially on the more modern games. And remastered, although it's an old game, is also kind of one of the modern games. Let's get it. I mean, these archers can get there. We're just gonna cut them off. Get it, get spread out. Did we find them yet? That's part of their army. Where's me Cav? Where am I? Oh, Cav's all the way over here. God, they are slow, the cataphracts. Also, we don't have banners on again. Thank you very much. There we are. Ah, not firing arcs a lot. For some reason it saved the firing arcs. But nothing else. <laughs> I mean, honestly, we'll probably just keep our cav here for now. Uh, let's go after Albreas or whatever he's called. These poor guys, they're not going to know what hit them. Greek hoplites, man. Absolute shit munchers. Let's go. Although we do still have them in the east. Well, we've got a few armies with them still in. Obviously, more experience on them now. Ultimately, you guys don't want that. But let's fire at the general. We need to remember, we need to kill everyone here. Fire at them. We got two generals here. Achilles the Mad. What a mad man. Come on, Diodotus. Please don't die. That's the main thing for you. Don't die. Abreas, he's going to die. Oh, looks like they uh, decided with Cassandros to charge in. Good idea. That's one of the generals dead. Both their generals actually charged in. Kill them, kill them, kill them. You fire at them as well. Who's just... Uh... So we killed them. Get over here. What are these phalangites doing? I mean, the phalangites can just spread out like that. They can just defend this little killing action, I guess. Go on, archers. Oh, dear me. That's one problem. We've got to make sure we kill him. How many arrows can he take? Oh, he's dead. Good, 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 good. You kill them. You guys get round this way. These are Gera Speeders or something else. They are a unit, aren't they? They are an absolute unit of a unit. Let's get up there. Yeah, you can get back in Phalangite formation. Oh, dear. He's gone absolutely mental. Very good. Get forward. Now charge. Although, I would like to kill Akilos the Mad. Oh, dearie me. Come on, Cav. They have run across the whole battlefield like twice. So that's not ideal. <laughs> Got to make sure we, uh, you know, keep him. Go, go, go. In there, boys. In there. Oh, we broke them. Oh, 
Don't, please don't let them get away. Come on, man. Kill them all. Got to kill our Kilos first, though. Come on. Are they still firing at him? Yeah, it's probably, uh, probably a bad idea, then, to keep firing at him. Where are the others coming from? They were all the way over there, right? Run the archers back. Actually, no, 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 no. Halt, 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 halt. Kill. Kill. <laughs> These guys are going to fight to the death. That's good for us, though. Going to try and make sure we kill them all. Yes, come on. Smashed him. Very good. Right. Let's come forward. What are you doing, man? Also, where is that second army? Have they, have they buggered off? <laughs> Are they gone? They're just like, nah. <laughs> They've seen the destruction. Oh no, they're just up there. That's fine. Right. You guys are going to speedies. Let's go. These poor guys are going to be knackered now. Right, I'll tell you what. Stay there, stay there and have a rest, my friends. And in fact, we will retreat with you as well. Get the Agira speeders over here. And then we will engage the second army. Unless they are leaving, they could be leaving. That's a very, very likely scenario. Back to Gira Speedes. Get over there. That's where all their uh, their troops are. Now we're firing at the Thoria Foroi cavalry. Come on, guys. They have lost a little bit of fatigue already. Good. Keep that going down. What do we got left here? We do have the Royal Peltas in this army. Let's have another look at them, because they are something else. Oh, look at those boys. Flames out and everything. Oh, 304 or cavalry's dead, I guess. <laughs> Already. Jesus. Poor guys. How did uh, one of the Aguirre Speeders took a load of damage from those Javis there? That's unfortunate, isn't it? And the, the actual archers, have, uh, they've got a really fast firing rate. They've managed to uh, fire quite a bit. Right, let's make sure you guys are all on phalanx. There they go, charging. Right, men. Let's use Onoit. Let's have a go at them. They don't think they're hard enough, so let's go around this way. Fine. Get into the Ephebes. Okay, don't want to don't want to fight. Fine, we'll kill you all. And we broke them. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Really don't care about the Ephebes and that just yet. So let's probably get Diodotus. One cataphract into them. One into there. Where's the other guy? Oh hello. Have you seen my uh my guys? Oh, they've run out of ammo. Unfortunate. Wow, they've, they've used a lot of ammo, haven't they? Yeah, they're going to run away. I don't really care. Please don't withdraw. We want to kill you all. Yep, kill them all. Didn't even need to use any of the uh, Ellie's or anything like that. Of course. Oh, dear. Let's get there. This poor archer. Right, we're going to have to use the cavalry here. I didn't want to have to run you guys. They've all got their, their, their back being happy now. Come on. Speed this up. We should absolutely shred this Huzonite. How many did we kill, though? Problem being here. Right, you guys. Let's get you all there. Everyone chase them down. Just because we need to make sure that we take them out. I do also think there's going to be a huge battle when we press the end turn. At the end of this turn, which should be pretty uh, pretty juicy. And we've absolutely shredded them. Cassandros is a little bit of a worry. They may not all be dead, but I think they will be, hopefully. Archer's doing well. Well done, everyone. General's bodyguard just absolutely got the W on everyone. <laughs> but anyway, I will see you back on the campaign map. Glorious victory. And I don't know. Oh my god, one guy survived. Fool! We shall kill you! You would like to stand up inside the settlement, Akilos. He is certainly a madman. Uh, well, then. So, Peloponnese is pretty much done at this point. 
Got a lot of the cities on here. There's still a few more to go, though. Corinth is definitely one I want to get, because once you take Corinth, it pretty much blocks people off from coming into the Peloponnese unless they got on a ship. Same thing with Aegean here, because you can actually walk across there, but Aegean blocks the way. So it's a very uh, two very good tactical settlements to have to block off the Peloponnese. And I believe it's very similar in 0.6 as well. I, I can't quite remember... I think it's pretty similar. Good tactical settlements. Uh, is there anyone else that needs moving? I forgot that was a settlement, man. Then, with the trees around it, I thought it was just an, a little army. <laughs> uh, but the rest of the armies, how long until that siege? Five turns. That's fine. Uh, where are you guys going now? I mean, you need to come all the way up here. We do still have a bit of an army <laughs> over here. But when I say a bit. It is an absolutely savaged army. Like, we might as well start merging some of you and, like, some of these smaller units. But they're all different units. Oh, dear. I still think we can win a lot of battles with these guys. I don't think we need to worry. Uh, such a check. Any mercenaries? Oh, yes. Yes, there is. And very good ones as well. Can we leave, then? Like, if we leave some hillmen behind, like these two hillmen... Let's have a look. Still happy. Ooh, baby. Let's go then. Let's move this mercenary army out. Bet it, get it on low. Four and a half percent. Sorry, four and a half. Nine and a half percent growth in this settlement. Wow. That's a spicy meatball. Right. Who are these boys? The mercenary Caucasian singers? Singers? <laughs> No, not singers. Slingers. <laughs> well, I think with this army, the best thing we can do is go north. Uh, so there's a settlement there. Gabala. They've also got Hermosike over there. Uh, yeah, you're going back to look at Gabala. I think, honestly, and then we're in Atropatine. And they have been our ally since the start. I do feel bad taking them out. But it's just going to have to happen, isn't it, guys? <laughs> it's just going to have to happen. They can't be a stain on our nation forever. So in terms of the armies we've got over here, though, we've got an Dragoras. Okay, that's the Cataphract army. And we've got an Dragoras all the way over here, and Dragoras the Cruel. And then we've also got Selefkos' army on the way down there. I just wonder, is there any other big armies? I just want to make sure that I've not missed anyone. Uh, go from units, please. General Alketas. Yep, we know you can't move anymore. Anyone that's not moved is really one. Yeah, you're retraining. You're in Taxilla. Oh, yeah, you have to be. Yeah, all the ones that have moved have moved. So that's fine. And then the Cataphract army is on the way, my boys. Is there anywhere around here that can make those archers, though? That is the real question. Because what's the point of recruiting them there. God damn it. No. Right, let's do our building, our singular bit of building for the episode, guys. Like I say, we're just going to do one little bit of built building per episode, or one bit that I'm going to show you anyway. We're just going to go down the list today. And uh, I have had a, uh, a couple of comments saying that I should build more academies, and trust me, I will do that. In cities where we have governors, though, I'm not just going to build it for no reason. It also brings in the law, which is pretty good. So we're going to upgrade the academies in a few places that have a governor. If they don't have a governor, like, oh, uh, if they don't have... Oh, they already got level 3 academy in Uruk. So, honestly, there's not much here that's really worth it. And the building costs here are ridiculous. One. One for the shrine to have Feistus. A singular, a singular denarii. How about Antioch? Uh, let's go for the irrigation there. I don't know why we didn't build there. Uh, let's just go for the epic stone wall at Seleucia, just because it looks better on the map. <laughs> We're at that point now, guys, aren't we? Uh, Uruk, I can't try. I can't turn down a singular denarii for a, for a temple. That's obscenely good. So uh, yeah, let's let's take that. Uh, you are a large city. Anything else we want to do here, really, though? I mean, the dockyard gives a bit of population growth, so it's expensive just for that extra population growth when we could 
get this, but I don't want to reduce the grain imports. Just get the shrine. Nice, easy option there. Um, and then over here in Susa, let's get the Lyceum, just in case. No growth in Susa, though. Nothing else we can really build in Susa to bring the growth. So we are kind of a bit screwed. You are Greek now as well, though. That's fine. Sardis all the way over here. No more military buildings we need to build here. Let's get the Spice Road. I wonder how much money that's going to make. 1,000 a turn for the boys. Let's go. We've got Sagalassos. Let's go for the... See, this is we're not going to build the academy in here because there's, no, uh, there's no guys in there. Let's just build the Odeon. Although we need growth again. You are on low. Uh, Tarsos over here. Let's go for the crop rotation. Europos Ragai. Let's go for the Shrine to Hera for that extra lore. Hecatompilos over here. You also have reached a growth end point, but we do have plenty of growth buildings. But we've also got the Scriptorium. Let's build that. Get some better. He's only got one management, which is not very good. <laughs> uh, here in Zadrakata, we've got lots to build. I think we'll go for the uh, Dockyard there. It's actually Greek now, Zadrakata, which is fantastic. Over here, let's get the Scriptorium. Stakra. Stakra, Stakra, Stakra. Where is your port? I'm assuming it's there. Uh, yeah, it is. Uh, how Greek are you? Not Greek at all. Let's build a Greek colony then. Alexandria, Carmania. Uh, Great Agora for that extra cash. Alexandria, Prophasia. Let's go for the... We could go for the awesome Temple of Hera. I mean, it's not rich enough, really, to justify getting the Great Agora. So let's go for the awesome Temple of Hera, uh, Nicomedia. And uh, how excited are you guys about the uh, the new update? Because I am so excited. I cannot wait. I'll have an announcement video coming out very soon telling you what's going to go on when we get there. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's very likely going to be uh, a couple of campaigns. Uh, one campaign to start with, at least. Because of the uh, the way that they are going to be doing um, uh, patches and stuff in this update, it's not going to be a story campaign to start with. I'm going to do a story campaign slightly later when, uh, when we get to that point. So, uh, yeah, not quite right away. But uh, we will do a story campaign eventually. So don't worry about that. Uh, and I've got plenty of other ideas. Uh, of what we can be doing. But we will be doing a bit of a Blitz campaign. I'm also going to be doing a few videos of just random stuff. Like cool, uh, cool little challenges and stuff like that. If you've got any ideas for good challenges as well. Do let me know. Um, because of course plenty. The more ideas the better guys. The more ideas the better. Got lots of challenges in my head. I mean uh, we're going to do an island hopping one. We might do a bit of a raiding one. We might do a playing tour one as well. So that should be quite good fun. So do check out those when they come out. Uh, but we're just building along here. Deliche, we have the Agora. Let's build that. Sariesa. Let's build the academy there. And uh, Kelonai over here. I mean, we've built a lot of great Agoras. And they're not even that. You know, it's not exactly that useful. Let's go for the Temple of Hera in Kelonai. Babylon. I mean, we don't need anything here. That's the that's the problem. Let's go for the large stone wall. Just for the boys. Get some big stone walls in there. Let's get the aqueduct in Nicophorion. Apamea Sitakane. Let's go for the nothing, really. <laughs> in fact, let's go for the Temple of Taiki. Get some more trade income. Artemita over here. We can get a Ludus Magna. Let's go for that. Our Happa. Let's go for the Scriptorium. This guy's only got two management. Poor form there, my friend. Poor form. Uh, and then Seleucia Hadaiphon. You are actually trading. I wonder, surely you can trade there. Like, that doesn't look that far away. Let's build the dockyard just in case. It's also very discounted cost. And Asur will get that Temple of Taiki. Uh, have we moved everyone over here? We have. Moved everyone in the Peloponnese. We moved everyone there. Let's stick that end turn. I'm also going to move back over towards the Peloponnese because uh, we need to have a look to see. Oh, well. <laughs> I was going to see. 
we need to go and have a look whether the uh, Antigonids attack us. I mean, they are the first person after us in the list. So they may attack us pretty quickly. Our spy is just taking a couple of strolling steps. Wow. Um, do we have people on this ship? No. Well, we sunk 16 of their ships. And we lost a few ships. We need to get... We need to get those ships repaired. God damn it. <laughs> Back across to Crete, probably, is the best place. Unless they've got any big dockyards over here. Also, of course, those guys are very upset. But that Admiral's now a five-star Admiral. Very nice indeed. And they didn't actually attack us. What's going on? 60-year-old husband. No. Get out of here. Gordion can now upgrade. Fantastic. Rioting in Karistos. Very much expected. Get in there, my friends. Oh, I thought it was uh, I thought it was crashing there. <laughs> With the music in the background uh, <laughs> repeating. Plenty of buildings being done. Now, can you... Ooh. You are reinforcing this. Looks like you just don't want to go round the mountain. Well... Argeos will be coming around the mountain when he comes. Now that is a siege. Let's get this one out of the way first. Get rid of you. Shouldn't be. Yeah, zero. Zero casualties. Very nice. Straight on to Corinth. They've got this little settlement here as well. I didn't actually know that one was there. I can't, can't remember it. Oh well. Um, and yeah. This one actually looks like quite a good place to have a recruitment hub because of they've got the highest level barracks already. Odeon in there as well. Let's build all of that. Let's go straight for the shrine to Hera. How upset is everyone here? Oh my god. Incredibly, incredibly upset. Even with daily games, why have you suddenly got so much more upset? Well, uh, first of all, we need someone in there. <laughs> Got so many garrisons over here, and it's still nowhere near enough. And it's still on zero. 25%. Get more men in there. 70% now in uh, Megalopolis. 30%. Wow. Deary me. Deary, deary me. They're not a happy bunch, are they? What if I leave Githion with the general... Although he's, he's only got management. He hasn't got anything else. Maybe you can make them happy, my friend. Good luck. No, <laughs> you cannot. You guys can get all the way over there, though. So I'm wondering if we sploop a few guys around. You guys get in there. Nice. Come on. You can do it, game. I know our empire is very large right now, and you don't like it too much, but... uh. Don't you worry. Um. Oh well. Uh, you're on 55 though. That's the that's the problem we've got here. These guys are getting happier and happier. I think it's just provincial unrest. Well, we're gonna have to suck it up at this. Well, that did nothing. Oh, 65 now. Ah, god damn it! It's because of the spy. Well, I think when everything's repaired here, we should be okay. Could go for that Achaean siege. We could also go for this. This will be a cheeky little battle. Oh, well, what do we have? We do have Ellie's and we got Hetairoi. This army, though, is a spicy army. And if they get inside the city, we are very much screwed. Three generals um, and some really good. Agima of the Peltas, which are a fantastic unit. I think we want to take that defensively. If they want to attack us, they can do. That's not a problem. Um, but yeah, we're not going to attack into that just yet. Philadelphia can upgrade now. Good. Uh, Diodotus over there. Right then. Let's, uh, let's have a look at uh, where else we want to move, men. We've got you. Keep coming. I want you to go to Nagara. And we've also got these guys. Finally, we can get in there. Is that going to be enough for us to leave? I hope sincerely that it is. Zero percent, man. Come on. Oh, no. 
I misclicked to the left. Oh, theory me. Oh, no. It's only 39% as well. Oh. What's a Ludus Magna there, which is pretty cool. Get that in there straight away. You know what? Yeah, Taxilla can, you know. Go away in no uncertain terms. Uh, right. You guys have moved. Do you have any spicy mercenaries available? Got an archer. I'll take the archer. We haven't got that many archers in this army. I'll also take a slinger then. We'll take those boys. Uh, down here, like I say, we don't need to worry. Then in the north, we should now be able to move these boys out. I'll take the Hetairoi, actually. We'll keep the Hetairoi in this army with Omayas. Now, Omayas, do we want you back on the eastern front? I think we do, because... Actually, the eastern front is a bit screwed, really. Where did I send... Although... I'm confused by the armies now. <laughs> This army, there we are. Okay, fine. El Ketas, there you are, my friend. You're going back up to there to try and uh, go on from there. So you're the one going for those elephants. I was wondering where, like, which army was the one that needed those elephants that are in there. These guys, however, we will probably go... I mean, it's a long way to walk over here, but it's a very long way. Problem is, I think by the time we're up here, we'll be done. I mean, you can go along the northern coasts. I know it's a bit of a long way that way as well, but we can take some of these cities down the northern coast. So we've got two armies moving out that way. The only army we really have up here now, though, is Mr. Mercenary. I.e. sees the handsome. Um, I don't think... Yeah, Naxuana, we can go for that. I did say we were going to go north. But we do kind of want to protect our backs before we go north. And we do have Andragoras going for the Cappadocian capital. Or the, the last remaining Cappadocian settlement, should I say. I believe it is. Anyway. So I think, I mean, the capital's in striking distance. No point not taking this fight. So let's get down there. Very much a cav army, this. There's hardly any infantry, as you can see. Uh, it's only it's going to take us two turns to build two rams. That's how few men we have in this army. Wow. Uh, but that's fine. And then Selefkos, your army is going back here. Let's get you guys out. Uh, we, need a, we need a general for that army as well. That's the other thing. We need to remember that. I need a general. Oh, come on, you dickhead. Why did you walk around that way? Because <laughs> I put them there. I should have put them behind. Oh, dearie me. That's annoying. Uh, so we got all you guys moving. You've unfortunately moved. Not something we wanted. Uh, now we better get uh, Ankisis back in there. And make sure we are recruiting still because we need more armies. More armies, my friends. More armies. Uh, you're not Sardis. You're Sardis. Yeah, Hetai Roy in there in Sardis. And then we'll start recruiting what else we need. So you're sieging down there. You guys are sieging down there. Good. Well, I think that's everything we need to do this turn in terms of movement. I don't know why I turned into a cow. Um, but yeah, I think that's everything. So let us do our building. And I will see you after the building, guys. So that's most of the building done, and I built probably about 13 academy buildings there for governors to try and get them a bit better. Now, I just wanted to make sure we are building in our conquered areas. We're building everywhere ex except for Megalopolis. So let's make sure we get that Shrine to Hero in there. That should make them happy. I know it's not a guarantee, but uh, yeah, it should make them happy, hopefully. So we aren't doing anything there. I also did want to have a look down in the south because you know this army could do with moving on now we can't actually retrain our Zistaphoroi unfortunately can we leave that's the question looks like we can very good very good let's get the ship big problem here imagine if we got killed by pirates now 
<laughs> that would be an absolute nightmare. So we want to make sure we can get off the boats, or at least get to a port. So we can get off the boats. So we are going to go uh, probably straight for that one. I don't know why I got off the boat there, but oh well. So let's get across. I don't think it's going to be too much of a worry. I would like a general in this army. So hopefully the fact that we've not taken any adoptions for a while, we can actually get a guy. Um, Was there anywhere else? Do you Have you moved? Oh, come on. Come on, game. There we are. Good. We have moved there. Uh, these guys aren't quite in the city yet. Um, and that is everyone, I believe. So, let's press the enter. Let's see what happens. Got these guys. This guy just coming down the coast, having a look at all the cities. We've got this spy over here. So, we can have a look at the northern Armenians. Ah, yes. The other army in Zaranka. We've got to remember that one. Um, yeah, very much so. Got to remember those boys. <laughs> so many armies now. <laughs> and our our empire is not like con like concentrated. It's <laughs> it's pretty spread out. <laughs> Have mercy. Um I mean uh, no. <laughs> I, I want it myself. Okay. They spawned in some extra help inside the city, it looks like, because it's their second to last city. Or I I, I actually no, I don't think they did. Sister Foroy. I mean, these are the guys attacking us from the front. It's just nothing. Then we got an actual scary army coming in from the back. So we'll try and take the center. Get rid of that small army and just turn around. Should be good. Anyway, I'll see you there, guys. Here we are. This is a fine day for battle. A fine day. It's actually a very nice open battlefield for us. I think we're still going to do the same thing as what we said before have these boys and we're going to keep the high pass this behind them in fact we'll use the high pass this early on these greek archers are really outdated at this point problem is our cavalry is actually quite damaged so we're going to have to be very sparing with our use of them right let's get forwards and let's bring the high pass this like i say we need to get rid of this army asap going to do we're going to get you actually forward and turned around to protect our back and the cavalry they don't look like they want to come and have actually have a scrap with us so let's cut their uh, cut them off so it looks like they are going to actually turn now good the archers can now fire good all right high past this time to earn your gravy my friends earn your gravy is that even a saying I don't know. <laughs> and then they can come down from the hill. We'll get around. Get into them. And let's get you there. We will use our cavalry. Like I say, our cavalry's a little bit screwed. So we want to make sure that we're doing everything we can to try and protect them. Now you guys surround them. Fully surrounded. Got one guy with like two men. These poor Cretan archers are getting screwed. Right, you guys get here. Are all my gear speeders? Yeah, put you on phalanx mode just for now. Come on, men, you can reach them. Right, fill that gap so they can't escape. We want to kill as many as we can. Go on, men. Surround them all. And the phalangites are shaken now, but not stirred. That should make them scared. There we go. I don't mind these guys fighting to the death, to be honest. Chase them. In fact, don't chase them. We'll get our high passes. We actually might be at uh, a slight risk here. I don't like this fact that we are on like the downhill. So let's let's move back. Let's uh, slightly reposition. We are completely on the road, which is great. Have you guys all stopped now? Yes, you have. Good. And then we'll use our high pass this. We'll get them behind. And let's see what they do. They, they're probably not going to want, like we've normally seen, them go straight at 
The phalangites, they don't like doing that. What are you doing, man? Like, why have you done that? So, like I say, we're going to be very careful with our cavalry here. They've got a lot more cavalry than us. Tarantine cavalry are a bit annoying, though. Zistafori, that's fine. I mean, if they want to, like, try and flank us like this, I'm really not bothered. We'll uh, get our Hypastis on the flank. Kind of hug boxing, but just protecting the flank, really. Uh, and the archers should be uh, able to fire here. Prodromoy, oh, God. Ah, the darkest depths of hell is reserved for the humble Prodromoy. I can tell you that. There they are. Disgusting. Go away. Let's have a look at some of these units then. Here they are. Very nice indeed. Come on, the boys. Here they are, the Achaean League. Surprise it. I thought some of these weren't done. Oh, there they are. We've got units that aren't done. There we are. I was going to say, I'm not playing on 0.6 now. I don't think it would work if I <laughs> was. <laughs> the mod, that is. Um... God damn, these idiots, man. Oh, here comes the general. Don't mind that. Good luck charging into the Agira speedies. The Agira sluggies, as we like to say. It's already running. You charge phalangites and then you run. Is that what you normally do, my friend? What are these boys? The key and hoplites? Yeah, we'll get rid of them. Alright, the archers now repositioned. Should be in a much better position. Got to be wary here, though. Looks like the Zistaphoria coming in for some cheeky little action. Let's mount our own assault and let's get into them with our Hypastists. Really just wanted to hold them with the cavalry until our Hypastis could get in there because I don't want to lose this cavalry. He's got some nice experience. Whoa, they broke already. Looks like because their general's broken, they are broken themselves. Oh, here we are. This is the battle we wanted to see. This is the battle. These guys getting shredded. Who is firing at them? God damn their archers. This is going to be a major issue. Is getting rid of their skirmisher troops at the end. Good job our cavalry is quite nicely, uh, nice and healthy right now. Fire. Come on, fire at the Tarantine cavalry for God's sake. You've hardly killed any of them. You useless bastards. Another Greek general. Kill them. Right, time for the Hypastists to mount their assault. They're not the best flanking force. They are spearmen, of course. But they are one of the best spearmen that you can get. So they aren't phalangites. Oh, here come the Tarantines. They want to have a bit of a gander, do they? Let's kill them all. Kill them all. Very good. Right, let's go. Uh, I mean, you can charge them. If you catch them, good. If you don't, we'll... we'll uh, Swivel. All right, looks like the Tarantines are gone. Good. One of our Cav might be gone. If that Cav wants to charge us, be my guest, my friend. You guys get, keep going. They've caught them. Good. Ideally, want to surround these boys. So, okay, that's one unit gone. That was a cavalry unit. Oh, here they come. They're coming back. He's fleeing again. How many times does he have to flee? Well, this is the problem here. Because we're not going to kill this whole army, are we? Very likely. Very unlikely we kill the whole army. God, these Javis, man. They are painful. Very painful. We just don't have the cav to mount a proper attack on them. Right, get walking through. Get into the archers. What are our archers doing? They need to be firing at them, boys. Now the cav can come. Oh, that was the bodyguard. Oh, dearie me. That poor archer is going to get absolutely ruined now. Guys... Walk through, did I say? Or did I say just wait there doing nothing? This is where phalangites work really well. <laughs> okay, let's get 
them. Oh, here they come again. Whoever this is. Prodromoy. Oh, God. Love the Prodromoy. The boys. <laughs> ah. Well. Just stand here. You're just going to have to take it, unfortunately. Come on, the boys. Let's go. You get them. I think we can afford to use our cav to get rid of some missile troops now. Kill them. You guys. Let's get you around. God, these guys are just going down the line. Just absolutely pounding them. Come on, the boys. <laughs> Let's go. They don't like being surrounded, do they? These are all very good units. Well, not they're not really that good. Come on. Are you going to take... Are you taking a piss, man? Come on. You're a slug. You're a real-life slug. Ah, I feel bad about these high pastists. I mean, if we're chasing them, we're not getting shot, right? So let's keep doing that. I need to come up here. Then you will face the wrath of my cavalry. Shoot them. So they did break through that phalangite slightly. Get in the middle there. Oh, look at this. The double line, the triple line. That's what we like to see. Let's go. Right then. Let's have a go at some of these guys if they think they're hard enough. You fire at them. Goddamn Akontistite. These guys have escaped. I feel like not many of these guys will escape, which is really good. Uh, right, let's go. Are they archers we're fighting or what? Slingers. They do have good range. Poor Hypastists. Right. Let's come up. Let's come up. Oh, looks like they're going. Looks like they're going. Yes. Kill them all. In fact, you guys, you are the ones who need to chase them because you're the ones who can actually catch up with them. <laughs> no one else can. Probably, definitely not the cavalry from this far away now. Right, let's speed it up. Good little battle. Kill as many as you can. And they've got these boys. Okay. Let's continue. Because we need to try and kill them. How many have we got left? 17%. That's so close. Ah! No! They're going to still have the city. I don't think their general died either, did he? He just ran away, so they would have it anyway. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Come on! Kill them all! Okay, good. Uh, and then these three left. These three clowns. Get them. Well, I think that was a pretty successful battle considering we've got no cavalry. <laughs> oh, dearie me. Wow. Fantastic. That's what we like to see. The high pass is putting in some work there. 171. Same as the Agira Speeders. They actually did really well. That was where they work fantastically. It's just such a unique scenario. <laughs> but anyway, I'll see you back on the campaign map, guys. Here we are. And unfortunately, we didn't kill them all. The Ikea, uh, the Aetolian, should I say, look a little spicy over there, don't they? Look at that. We're going to have to mount some fresh forces to face those boys. Uh, we had a final unit here, so we'll get you in there. If you will go... <laughs> Well, it's a pretty chunky army over here now. Mainly Thoroporoi. <laughs> Not Thoroporoi, Thorakitai. And archers! Thousands and thousands of archers. An archer army for the boys. I mean, they're good archers. They're not exactly melee, troopy type of archers, though, are they? Um, we're going to go straight for that. How upset do you reckon this settlement has been, Taxilla? Pretty darn upset. Oh, dearie me. Well, uh, take my archers. We don't need them particularly. They are good for sieges, mind you. Still only 59. You don't have an Odeon or anything, do you? Ooh, what what do we have available to us? Uh, take some of these. Take some of these guys. Oh, not there. In the city, please. It's a very unhappy place. Taxilla right now. 69, nice. How bad is it? Mainly distance to capital. Culture penalty is huge as well. It's going to get worse when we start building that. 
Squalor's pretty big. So we need some happiness buildings in here. Let's just quickly build like the shrine to Taiki just to bring it over the percentage there. And uh, let's uh, siege down this large town, Pukelautius. And they do have elephants. Very nice. That's great. Fantastic. <laughs> oh, dear. I was not expecting that. But anyway, let's get our men down here. Start taking a bit of a foothold of the Horn of Africa. I mean, if this was real life, taking this area would be very good. You could uh, control a lot of trade going down towards East Africa uh, and also up along the Arabian coast, up to the Gulf of Persia and, uh, you know, into, uh, what's this bay called? I can't remember. But up towards the Indus Valley as well. So it would be a very good place to take in real life. Probably not as good for us in game. <laughs> but anyway, uh, where have we got our men? You, sir, Ermayas, you're going up towards Trapezus. I don't really care if I lose this settlement because Ermayas is just going to take it back. We've also got Alketas out here in the wilderness somewhere. Where are you, Alketas? Oh, look, Cappadocia's mound. Oh, look, a, a big Cappadocian army. Well, I guess we should go and fight them off. Where is Alketas, though? Oh, he's there. You can actually go and fight them. All right, we'll go uh, take that battle to start with. We'll probably do it next episode. Or we could do... Uh, let's do it this episode. It shouldn't be too too long. Yes, we've got a guy come of age. Calisthenus. I think we'll keep you there. In Bertha. Big Bertha. Alexandria Susia has now expanded. We are expanding many of our settlements. How many turns are we on, by the way? We're on turn 143. That's actually quite good. Not too bad. Uh, and, yeah, Taxila was very upset. Uh, Syracuse and Rome have decided to uh, have a war. So Syracuse and Massalia have now no longer got their alliance. But that is, a, that is far away for us. That is a far away place for us. Right, let's take Corinth. 132 they killed, apparently. Let's enslave. And can we move people? Oh, 45%. Must have spies in here, surely. Must have spies that we just can't see. That's bad. That's really bad. <laughs> It's not great. 50% <laughs> only now. Oh, deary me. 108. Willing to take that. It's enslave. Problem here now. Right, let's... Uh, you there and you into there. Right, let's take... This army's pretty darn damaged. But it should be good enough to take the rest of Akia. Oh, dear. Yeah, major public order issues. I was not expecting this in Greece. I know we have only just taken these settlements. And the cultural unrest from the buildings is pretty darn bad. Oh, we do have an Odeon here, though. Let's go to daily games. Only brings us up enough for that. What? They have Shrine to Dionysus. I'll actually take that. It's pretty good. 10% uh, happiness. We can't actually build anything here either. 6% population growth. Wow. Right then, Alketas. Alketas the Conqueror. Nine star. Well, I think... I think that has to be good enough for a place over here. So, let's just go over our island a little bit. We've got Antiochia Oikodomon, which is named after Antiochus the Builder. We've got Ariathan, named after Ariathus. We've got Andragorion, named after Andragoras. We've got Antiochia... Thymon Menon, which is named after Antiochus the Angry. We've also got Eumenion, named after Eumenes. Or Eumenes, should I say, not Eumenes. We've also got Antiochia Zabina. So Anti Antiochus the Angry has two settlements named after him. Um, but we have space. So let's go. Alket... Uh... 
I'll cat. Uh, e. How. How. Uh, cancel this one sec. E I A. E I A is the end, right? So. We'll go Alketia. Alketia. There we are. Very nice. Good. Well, I'm glad we've got that named after him now. 55%, man. It's not what we wanted. The must. Are we on daily games here as well? Oh, no. Go monthly games. And we're fine. <laughs> Good. Right, let's uh, sort this settlement out and this one. We have sorted that one out. Problem with auto-resolving as well. You get so many damaged settlements. Let's go straight for the Shrine to Hera as normal. And they've only built the first level of, of guys. And we can see the, uh, the we do have a rebel boy in there. 75%. I think... I mean, I think it's worth risking. There's no point waiting around. Now we're just going to have to barge through all these boys. <laughs> Completely destroy them. And uh, the the uh, looks like the Peloponnese is very close to being ours. Honestly, when when we smash through these boys, I really don't think uh, the Antigonids and Epirus will be much of a problem at all. I think we'll be fine. Halicarnassus has upgraded. Good. Finally, Halicarnassus. We've had you for quite a while. Surprised you did not upgrade be before that. Um, so, yeah, let's just see what we want to do over here, though. Zero percent. Not ideal. Let's have a look. Let's get you in there in Corinth. We really do need somewhere to just recruit some goddamn uh, garrison troops, because we are trying at the minute. Oh, look at that. Without enemy settlements, it's so easy to walk across the Peloponnese. Thirty-five percent. Oof. God, dear. Deary me. Well, Githion, you're still recruiting. How about here? Were we recruiting? Oh, we can recruit here now as well. Fantastic. Well, this is the uh, going to be the garrison place. We also get some nice experience recruiting there. We will have four Neocretan archers when that's done. So I think it's probably worth going for some more Agira speeders. Uh, yeah. And then we'll go for some Hetairoi. We need this to be completed first, though. That's also getting that. That's good. Nice. Well, if we can get the public order sorted in these areas, then we'll be fine. It's very unlikely we can do it very easily, though. Tell you what. Is there any mercenaries? There is. There's like a, uh, a mercenary hoplite. You're not going to be able to get there, though. Uh, well, you're the man that we should have done that with. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dearie me. Let's get the uh, mercenary through your foroy. Get you in there. That should help quite a bit. Same thing with repairing these and getting the Shrine to hear it. Uh, it's only got gone up 5%. It's not not quite a bit. Not quite as bit as much as you might expect. Ah, the ships as well. Where has a really good dockyard? Well, we don't want to go there. We want to go somewhere that's not recruiting anything else. You do. Fantastic. Let's get in there. Let's get these ships retrained. I also got to check. We've got to go to Antioch, haven't we? We've also got to go to Pergamon and Sardis. Check we're still recruiting. We are fantastic. Uh, you're not Sardis. <laughs> Where's Sardis? There we are. Uh, yeah, you're recruiting the Hetairoi now. So what do we have? We need some more archers in this army. So we'll go for the four archers there. We'll get more Agira Speeders over this way. Yeah, this army just needs to get out of there for now. I really hope we get to see this army on the battlefield. I just don't know where we're going to send it, though. That's the one problem we have. <laughs> where are we actually going to send that army? <laughs> We've also got to stop training all you. We'll train one. The rest of you can get nice retraining. Good. Right. In Zranka over here, we've moved. And then up in the north, in India. Yeah. We have moved down here. Yeah, we moved. So we moved everyone. Good. Fantastic. Well then, guys. I think we're probably... Oh, no. There was a battle to take, wasn't there? Against Cappadocia. Let's do that battle. Let's finalize 
the uh, episode with a cheeky little battle against Cyrus of Cappadocia, the faction leader. And he has a load of skirmish troops. Oh, fantastic. How I love to fight skirmish troops. Yes. Got Farnakis over here. Actually, I'll tell you what. Do we have the ability to get some trash here? Like, oh, carrying heavy infantry. That's not trash. And that's very shiny and very tempting. But I think... Let's get two skirmisher units just to chase down the enemy and also deal with their skirmishers. Because dealing with them is going to be not fun. <laughs> so I will see you on the battle map, guys. Hi, guys. So wait, I want it to be a bit lighter so you guys can see a bit better. It's cloudy. Please don't be raining. Oof, why is it always dusk? Come on. Slightly better. <sighs> kind of. Dusk or dawn, I do not know. But anyway, uh, we'll come up from the top of the hill. They do have reinforcements coming in, of course. It's going to be a quite a mobile little army we'll have. And Oh, the Silesian pirates aren't actually javelin men. They're just... It looks like they got javelins in their hand, man. They're just... Uh, Standard boys. Light infantry. Um, the Cataf... Uh, I don't think the chariots are going to be that much use. Probably to, you know, uh, break the enemy. But apart from that, probably not going to be that much use. Looks like they, they want to come and fight. Good. Their overconfidence amuses me. Right. Let's get these boys forward. And these boys can go here. And then the cav. I mean, the chariots can just stay behind for now. Like I say, we don't really want them to do anything. Main issue here is just the amount of skirmishes they have, as usual. Just pure annoyance. What are these? Skirmish cav, Asian cavalry. I think the Asian cavalry are missile cav as well. Yep, they are. Great. I mean, the infantry is no problem. We're going to absolutely shred their infantry. So, right. Let's go and just force them to engage with us. Make sure we got these boys. Straight up. Let's go. Archers, get you all off, uh, off that and that. We don't need that. Let's come forward some more. Cavalry-wise, let's keep coming. We'll get these boys around the side. Right, boys. Time to go. Move forward. Good thing we have Thurio Foroi, because they do have Javi. So that should actually be quite a nice little helpful uh, helpful thing for us. Don't want to go left flank, because they've got their reinforcements coming in from that flank. So let's come around. Get you guys there. These guys should be firing. Uh, what is the rest of this? Is this all just skirmishes? Because that's very annoying. As usual. Let's bring you guys up this way. Looks like they just ran away. <laughs> Let's go. Looks like they're going to charge some of their like skirmish cav into the fight though. I do quite like that. Especially for us. Right. Come forward. These boys. Let's come forward as well. Don't think we're going to catch them with our cav, but we'll run through this way. Oh, looks like they're moving towards us. Uh, get you off that. Right, pirates. Have a little bit of a go, shall you? Oh, that was close. That was close to getting them. Right, cav behind then. All right, let's squish them up against our cav. What have we got here? You guys forwards. Uh, I think it's time for you to get around the sides. Oh, you're actually chasing them down. That's good. Like I say, we want to make sure that when we route these guys as well, we kill them all. Oof, that's not good. Right, keep coming. Keep coming. You guys get through. You guys get round. Kill them. Turn around, turn around. Like I say, I don't think this will be an issue, this fight at all. Galatian Thorakitai, though, that's that's a unit that we don't want to mess with. Get forward. 
Always very messy when you fight these sorts of battles. Let's get their uh, general. Oh, now it's time to kill the Asian royal bodyguards. Let's go. I don't know why my... Why are you over there, man? Come on, get out. You're going to die, my friend, if you do this. Let's kill... The Asian royal bodyguards are a very good unit. That's their king, so that is the main army. <laughs> kill his grieving subjects. Lovely. Well, I plan on doing that, my friend, so let's keep it up. You've just got to weather the storm there, my, my man. Let's come forwards. Uh, oh, you get in there. You're not even fighting. Let's get you guys forward. You guys there. Next general's dead. Good. In fact, you guys should be chasing down these boys. Kill them quickly. How many have they got left? 45%. Wow. That's an absolute load. Kill them. Kill them all. Kill them all. Oh, easy mode. Let's go. Kill them. Kill them. The Thorakitai, though, they could be an issue. So we will bring Chalka Speeders up here to deal with them. Uh, three or four. Oh, you're not good for chasing down men. Where are the... The Silesian pirates are deaded. They're gone. <laughs> oh, well. You guys chase these guys down because you're probably the only one fast enough to do so. Uh, yeah, you're probably also the only one fast enough to do this as well. Come on, Cav. You can get him, Cav. Come on. <laughs> so slow, man. Yep, let's go. Kill them. What do we got here? Three or four. Let's get you up there as well. Who do we have? Oh, you're a Greek guy. Let's go chase. Get you to chase after some people. What is this here? Okay, fire them. Okay, we got them. Right. Come up here. How many have we got left now? 29 still. Wow. That seems like quite a lot. I'm not going to lie. A lot more than I was expecting. In fact, you guys, don't worry about them. Go chasing. More important. I mean, they've still got the all these guys. Oh, they've got Mercenary Galatians and Mercenary Galatian Thorakitai. That's the problem. I didn't realize they were Mercenary Galatians. I thought they were just like Hillman or something. Well, these boys, they're proper. They're a proper unit. Who are we... Ah... They're already... They literally broke fighting Pisidian Javelin men. Wow. That's very embarrassing. Joe, you know one of you guys should definitely... In fact, two of you should come back to deal with these. I didn't even use the chariots. I forgot about them. <laughs> oh, we didn't need them, so it's fine. You guys... Everyone? Is that everyone? Let's get through. One of you can chase them. All of you boys can get up there. Chariots. Let's have a little bit of fun with the chariots. Let's see a proper physics-based engine <laughs> compared to uh, Pharaoh. If we get a good charge off, see what it does. Yeah. <laughs> you see that, Pharaoh? Troops have impact. <laughs> Oh, dearie me. They say they're fighting to the death, but they look like they're just running around trying to avoid chariots. I mean, I guess that is fighting to the death. Uh, you guys go. All right, speed this up. Get them. You guys too. Go, 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 go. Why did you stop? Fight. Go kill them. Ah. <laughs> oh. Well, good victory anyway. I think that should be both of their armies dead. I mean, hopefully... But I will see you back on the campaign map. Glorious victory, Glorious victory indeed, Alketas. Uh, you are not the Alketas we have named our <laughs> our city after, but you could be. You definitely could be. You're a very good man. And we now have some garrison. Uh, yeah, Alketas, you were the one taking the elephant, weren't you? <laughs> I keep forgetting. Oh, we also need to check our boys over here. Oh, nope. Don't do that. How 
much does it say we're going to win by? I mean, I kind of want to wait for that. That would be quite fun battle just to charge him with the cataphract. So, honestly, I'd quite like to do that <laughs> on the battlefield. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I will finish the building off screen. Uh, but we are going to end the episode there. So, thank you very much for watching. It was a pleasure, this episode. Very fun indeed. The Peloponnese is very, very close to being ours. And then it's just a small case of beating the Boeotians, Athens, the Aeolians, Epirus, and the Antigonids. <laughs> and then Greece will be ours. So thank you very much for watching, guys. It's been a pleasure, as always. Please do like and subscribe. It really does help the channel out. And I will see you all again on the next video.